Good morning, my name is Dr. Srivastava. I'm one of the doctors here. Can I just confirm your name and age, please? Yeah, Tom Winters. I'm 63. Okay, and what would you like me to call you today? Tom. Okay, Tom. Great. Well, you can be rude if you like, I don't <laughs> mind. So, Tom, I've been asked by one of my senior colleagues to come and have a chat with you, okay? But because it's the first time I'm seeing you today, just yeah. give me an overview of the symptoms you had that brought you into hospital. Oh, well, yeah, I was out on the town last night and um, had too many, mm. and then next thing I know, I'm bringing up stuff and it's mm. got blood in it, mm -hmm. you know? And then next thing I know, is they're ringing the ambulance, and, mm -hmm. and here I still am. Okay. But I'm going to go home. Can I? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's just have a chat first. So I know the bleeding in the vomit has stopped at present, yeah, and you're, yeah, yeah. You're, you're currently stable. Right. However, I think when any patient comes into hospital vomiting blood, we're really cautious, yeah. okay? And there, aren't, there is an investigation that we'd really like to do. Right. Okay? So... I don't know, if I, I really need to get home. Mm. I know, can totally appreciate it. Is there any... Because my dog... You know, ah, I see. Thing. He's crossed all his legs by now. He's probably chewed up half the furniture. I see. I mean, you know. Mm. And, and there's nobody else? No, no, no. Okay. So how about this? I'll explain the test that we'd like to do. Yeah. Why we'd like to do it. Right. Okay. And, you know, the risk associated with you going home at this stage. Yeah. Okay. And then we and can... And then I can go. And then we can have a chat, yeah. yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. So the test that we'd like to perform is called endoscopy. Have you ever heard of that before? No. Okay. So because you're vomiting blood, the test involves putting a camera down the back of the mouth, down the food pipe and towards the stomach. Okay. Oh, goodness. I can see you're, you're quite surprised. When you say a camera, that. What do, what, you don't mean like digital? No. no. No, it's a camera sort of implemented in a thin tube. Oh, okay. good God. Right. Yeah. So, you know, the main reason we're doing this is so that we can see where the yeah. site of bleeding is, okay? Uh, yeah. And a couple of other things, we can take a sample, okay? And send it to the lab to find out the underlying cause. Oh. And if we see any active bleeding, there are some tr interventions we can do oh, during the test to stop it. bleeding, right. Okay. Yeah. Is that part clear for you, the, yeah. the, the rationale? It goes down my throat. throat. Yeah. So I'll just tell you a little bit more practically about yeah. what to expect, okay? So, first of all, it involves having a period without food, okay, for six hours before the investigation. Well, I haven't had any for ages, they haven't fed me yet. Yeah. Uh, and well, this even is, longer. <laughs> I see, yeah. And, and the reason is, you know, we're trying to look for the source of bleeding. Yeah. And so, making sure there's no food obstructing okay. the view is important. Yeah. Uh, the but other then I'll be able to eat once they've done it. After the procedure, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Now, the other thing is that you know, this can be uncomfortable, I won't lie to you, but to try and reduce the discomfort, we have to do a couple of things. There's some local anaesthetic spray that goes in the back of the mouth that will numb the area whilst we insert the camera. Right. And you'll also be given a medication. You won't be asleep, but you'll feel a little bit more drowsy. Okay? And this again will make you well, comfortable. Like I was last night after I'd had a skin for you, mean that sort it's of drowsy. Similar, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's the preparation. You know, I'd be lying down. Correct. I don't fancy this from here. You, you, know? you will be, yeah. yeah. And you'll be on a bed. There'll be some technicians uh, to monitor you as right. well. So that's before the procedure. Yeah. During, we'll look, take samples if needed, stop the bleeding. Right. And then afterwards, we would monitor you for a while, wait for the medication effects to wear off. Okay. Yeah. And then we can communicate the results of the investigation, depending on the results. I need yeah. to get home. I mean, Ralph will be doing his mm -hmm. nut, you know. He doesn't it's understand, does he? Mm -hmm. I haven't been home for hours. Absolutely. So, I'll just tell you a few more things about the procedure, just right. so you're fully informed yeah. before you get home. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll ask you for your decision. Is that right. okay? Yeah. So, I mean, I really told you the benefits. There are some risks which we need to be aware of as well. Right. Of the procedure and also of not having the procedure. So, the procedure itself can result in some bleeding itself, although this is rare. There is a small risk of an infection and a very small oh risk God, you're of... you're this well, aren't you? Mm. Well, we have to make sure that you're, you're fully informed. Right. Yeah. And then the final risk is, it's very rare, but we can occasionally, inadvertently, poke a hole in the food pipe. And that's, that's a seri serious risk that we need you to cool. be aware of. Okay? 
Now, I tell you all this because despite those risks on balance, in your case, we still think it's worthwhile to do this investigation. Right. The bleeding stopped at the moment, but you know, for yourself, if you weren't to have this procedure and you go home and the bleeding were to restart, you could become quite unwell. Yeah. Okay, and it would I mean, be... it was just one occasion. I hadn't had it before, and mm. I mean, couldn't I go yeah. home, see how things go, and if yeah. it happens again, come in and have it? So we will discuss other options in a moment. Oh. This is right. our main recommendation is for you to stay, okay? Yeah. And I, I need to let you know that if you go home, there is a risk it would worsen, and it would be life-threatening, okay? I just need to make that really clear. Now, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know, we don't use those words lightly. No, right. Okay, so I've given you a lot of information. Did you have any questions about the procedure itself? No, I think I've got that. Okay, so what do you think? I think I need to get home, see Ralph. Mm. Okay, mean. fair enough. I just need to ask you a few additional questions, if that's okay, just to make sure that we're on the same page. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So can I start by asking you if you understand, in your own words, why you're in hospital? Yeah, because I coughed up blood mm -hmm. in the pub, which they weren't too happy about. Okay. Um, and I came in, and they're concerned as to why I've brought up blood. Mm -hmm. I've been doing tests and things, but you want to do this mm -hmm. endoscopy, mm -hmm. um, take pictures and, mm -hmm. yeah, find out where it is. Mm -hmm. So it could be somewhere just here, or it could be right down. Correct. Uh, okay. Yeah. But and you'll sedate me or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And can you understand you know, the risk of not doing the procedure? Could you just communicate that to me? Well, you said there's risks of doing it, and there's risks of not doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sort of torn between, I mean, I need to get up to Ralph, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. he doesn't understand, does he? Yeah. I need you to be really clear, what are the risks of you going home? Well, it could get worse or, you know, I mean, I'm sort of thinking that maybe I, I don't know, take a risk and see how things go, because okay. it is the first time it's happened. Okay. And just to reiterate, there is a risk this can be life-threatening. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, need I'll you to do it, Dad, don't then. worry. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, what would you like to do going forward? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I understand what you're saying. and. Um, I appreciate it all, but um, it's Ralph, I mean, he's, you know, mm -hmm. I've left him so long now, he don't know what's happening, does he? So mm -hmm. I think I'll go. You need to go? Yeah. Okay. You're well within your rights to make that decision. We, we've had a good chat. I can see that you understand yeah, why you're yeah. here and our yeah. reasoning. You, you can retain all the information and you're definitely weighing it up. So just hold on momentarily. Okay, I'll speak to one of my senior colleagues just to let them know that this is your decision for yeah. now. Uh, we'll see if we can, if there's anything else we can arrange for you, see if we can get you to come in later okay, yeah, for that yeah, investigation. Yeah. Okay, and we've already talked about the risk, yeah. but if you do go home and you start vomiting blood again, okay, you feel unwell or lightheaded, yeah. please don't hesitate to call an ambulance. Okay, well, come, I'll, I'll get in, don't worry. Come immediately back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Great.